Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, we're going to install Debian 12 on VirtualBox uh, on Windows 11. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download the .iso file. So if I open up a browser here and I go to Google, I'll search for Debian 12 download. And you sh should see downloading Debian come up. So I'm going to click on that. And you want to download this file here. Okay. I've already done that. I have that in my downloads folder, so I'm not going to download it again. After that, we want to open up VirtualBox. So let's do that. So we've got VirtualBox open. I want to create a new uh, virtual machine. I'm going to call this Debian VM. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, it's going to select, when I, when I type in Debian, this is smart enough to select that it's Linux and Debian. So you probably do want to include Debian in the in the name. It does make it easier. Uh, I'm going to click next now and I'm going to pick the amount of base uh, RAM. I'm going to go with two gigabytes to start and I'm going to up this to uh, two CPUs um, to start and then I'm going to click next. Okay, Disk size I'm going to leave at 20 gigabytes. Uh, I'll click next and I'll click finish. Okay. When I have this highlighted, I'm going to go to my settings here and I'm going to go to network and do the bridge adapter. So that way I'll just run the internet from my regular computer. I click OK. And what I'm going to do now is start this up. OK, so because I haven't attached the .iso file, it's going to give me this warning. And I'm just going to hit this down arrow here and click on other. And then I'm going to go to my downloads and find the Debian.iso file, click open, and I'm going to click mount and retry boot. Okay, it's going to give me these warnings here. I'm going to cross those out. I am going to select the graphical install, so I'll hit enter. I'm going to close out this warning. It's going to load up and have English selected, that's good for me, so I'll click continue. You can of course select whatever you want. It's gonna select United States, select the country that you're in. If it doesn't detect it, I'm gonna click continue. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the key map American English, click continue. Okay. Uh, now you wanna enter a host name for the system, so for, uh, for your network, I'm gonna leave that as Debian and click continue. Uh, you can give a domain name. I'm going to leave that blank and click continue. All right, so now we're going to enter the root password for the root user. So I'm going to enter that. Pick a password that you can remember. You'll confirm your password. And I'll click continue. Um, we're going to, I'm going to set up a user account as well. I'm just going to type tunkert for the user account for the full name, put whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to keep the username as tunkert and click continue. And I'm going to give a password for the user that I just created. And make sure you can remember this password as well. Okay. And I'll click continue. Uh, now I'm going to pick a time zone. I'm actually in Colorado, so I'm going to pick mountain time zone. I'll click continue. And some of this will take long, so I'm going to cut out some of these parts where it takes a while. It could take five to 30 minutes for some of these parts. Um, next part, we're going to get to guided. I'm going to just stick with the guided use entire disk. Click continue. Uh, I'm going to stick to the disk that's been partitioned. Click continue. Um, I'm going to keep all files in one partition. Click continue. Uh, you can check this out. I'm going to keep it on finish parti partitioning and write changes to disk. Disk. Click continue. Okay. Uh, it's going to ask you if you really want to do this. You want to write changes to disk. I'm going to say yes and click continue. Now this will go and take some time, so I'll probably cut some of this out and come on back. Okay, it's going to come to this option where we can um, 
scan more media in, I'm going to leave it as no and click continue. Uh, we're going to configure the package manager now. Um, so I'm going to keep it on United States, click continue, and also keep it on deb.debian.org. You could pick one that you think is closer to you in your country also, but I'm just going to keep it on the default and click continue. I'm going to leave this blank, the HTTP proxy, click continue. And now this part will take a while, so I'm going to uh, stop the video for a moment and I'll come on back. Okay, after it sets up APT, um, it's going to ask you, do you want to participate in the package uses, usage survey? I'm going to say no and click continue. It's then going to ask you what kind of uh, desktop environment you want to set up. Um, you can do GNOME, XFCE, GNOME Flashback, KDE Plasma, Cinnamon, Mate, uh, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to pick uh, mate. So I'm going to check mate and uncheck GNOME. Okay, just to show you how to select something a little different. Um, you could just stay with the GNOME if you want. I'm going to click continue. That's going to go ahead and install the software. It's going to take a little while, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now it's going to ask to install the Grub bootloader. I'm going to click continue. Uh, and then I'm going to select the disk here and click continue. Okay, now it's going to say uh, the installation is, is complete, so it's time to boot your new system. Make sure the to remove the installation media. I'm not sure if this matters, but I'm just going to move this out of the downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads and just cut that and just paste it into my desktop. And then I'm going to click continue. Okay, now it's going to ask me to uh, load. I'm just going to do the regular load here. Okay, so now I'm going to enter my username, so name, and then the password that I put in, and click log in. Okay, uh, now if I open this, you'll see that it's very small here, but one thing I can do is go to view, and I can go to scale mode. And to switch back, you do the right control key and C. I'm going to switch, and it's going to pop out, and I can extend it here. And here we go. We've got uh, Debian 12 installed with the Mate desktop. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.